Rise and Fall of Slaughterhouse, a Joel Ortiz and King Crooked spin-off album to chronicle the supergroup that never was and ultimately dismantling it as a group for hype and a hit maker music deal. As when you listen to this man, a lot of blame is getting passed to Joe Button and deservingly so, but what part of leadership is throw a member under the bus and making Royce the Five Nines loyalty? to the group as a whole and to a negative point of contention. Now there is some very interesting moments on this like Vacancy where they're giving the reasoning behind the composition of this album and it was fire but the logic of it was a bit flawed. F Glass House which is the reasoning why they just threw away an album that never dropped that had the hottest individuals that were a part of it and I get it. I mean people want to hear about what happened to the album so give your POV of it so that it can become a topic that people will want to talk about but it's not an amazing track and who is actually saying they don't want you to eat? I have yet to hear that from anybody. What I'm hearing is do not ruin a brand to build up your own which is what this album is doing. Where they are at their best is on the songs Almighty to Still In My Feelings where this is just all bars to showcase their dominance on top of quality production with punchlines like when you have rapping power you can take half a bar off like happy hour. You capping like Kirk though, Star Trek reference. Bars bring death to your ears, but you don't hear me though, death or death. But the vast majority of the songs are like smoke, where they're taking a classic Beanie Siegel sample, where Beans is talking about how he believed that Rockefeller was family, but it was ultimately all business, where they're using that to air their differences with the rest of Slaughterhouse. Ultimately, there are some good moments in this that I recommend you go ahead and peep out. Overall, solid. 7 out of 10.